Greetings everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB with all the new changes that are coming to you in iOS 10.3. We are here with the first beta and we're starting off with this new profile screen inside of your Apple ID. Looks a lot more clean like your contacts cards. Inside of iCloud, there's this new iCloud storage graph that you can see, similar to when you had your iPhone plugged into iTunes. If you head into privacy, what used to be something along the lines of diagnostics and info that you were sending to Apple, it has been renamed analytics, which sounds a, lit, a little less devious. There's also a new option here to share iCloud analytics. If we move over to the Maps application, that little weather icon in that lower right hand corner now is 3D touch enabled. So I can press on that uh, using 3D touch capable devices and see a little pop up of the seven day forecast, push it all the way in and it'll jump me over to the weather app for that specific location, even allowing me to add it to the weather app. If we jump over to find my iPhone app, there is a new option for AirPod owners. You can actually use this to find your AirPods now. There's just a new option on the list. Of course, it's not perfect because there is no geolocation device in the AirPods, so it does require you to kind of be within Bluetooth range or it'll mark the last known location of your AirPods. Siri got some new improvements. You can now pay a bill, check on the status of a payment, or schedule an Uber or rideshare for in the future instead of right this second. Inside of the Home app, Apple has made some changes to HomeKit. HomeKit will now work with programmable light switches, which it could not in the past. Your phone will now, on this update, run on the new Apple file system, APFS, which is new, and they do recommend taking a backup before restoring to that new version. Developers now can change app icons at any time, which they couldn't in the past. CarPlay has some new improvements. It'll show EV charging stations, as well as some recently used apps. And the animations on launching and closing apps, they're very slightly tweaked. They're actually more rounded corners than they were before. One hidden feature that we don't actually see yet is a new one-handed keyboard for the smaller iPads. Both the iPad mini and the smaller iPad Pro will both work with this one-hand keyboard, but maybe we'll see it in the future because right now it's not exposed. So let us know what you guys think down in the comments below of iOS 10.3. Is this something you're looking forward to? Unfortunately, it did not contain that kind of much sought after dark mode or theater mode, but maybe we'll see it in the next beta. Please give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.